Um, let's, do you yeah. mentioned Extinction Rebellion. I can't let this go. This is absolutely hilarious. So you remember I said on Thursday what a bunch of frauds they all are and how they never practice what they preach, these people. So <laughs> The Sun revealed that Gail Bradbrook, one of the leading Extinction Rebellion uh, drivers, that she drives a diesel car and buys imported food wrapped in non-recyclable packaging. There she is, caught in the supermarket, disobeying, this is Waitrose, I was in there myself today, uh, disobeying every rule that she lectures the rest of us about. Esther? Well, it's to be expected. But this is the thing, though. Most Extinction Rebellion act or eco-activists tend to be actually from very privileged backgrounds. I mean, the guy that um, invaded that snooker tournament, yeah. he, he apparently grew up in a very a lavish part of Cambridge and, you know, went to private school. It's not surprising. Kevin, that's that's she, why they have the time to Some of the fruit she had was flown 17,500 miles <laughs> before she no, got into no, a diesel car. No, I, I can't, I can't. Any defence? It's a defence. No, very, he's, no, very, he's got another. Very, very little. Nicola, very little. given you're oh, now the chief defender of the indefensible, yeah, yeah. great chance to defend this. Uh, given the society we live in, I think it would be impossible for her to live a life that wasn't in some way hypocritical. So move, rules for me, the but not for thee. Well, she's trying to make, I suppose... I, I, it's not a good look. I'm no. totally with you. Not a good look. It's yeah. brazen, look. flaming yeah. hypocrisy. But she doesn't decide where wait, Waitrose source their fruit and veg. Where's she? Right. she Nicola, great to have you make yeah. your debut on Piers Morgan. Thank you.